The search begins in Poe Dameron issue 17. Tired of her new less than stellar job in the resistance headquarters on Dakar, Suralinda is surprised when Poe stops by to tell her she has a meeting with General Organa. Going to the meeting with Leia, Suralinda apologizes for almost selling the base's location to her news network. She agrees to help the resistance in any way in return, not just one that sees her return to her janitorial duties however. Leia tasks her with finding the resistance some funds, since their usual donations from friendly politicians are drying up thanks to the First Order's growing support. It becomes Suralinda's job to use her journalistic skills to sway people in the favour of the resistance. Getting to work straight away, Poe, Leia, 3PO and Suralindo plan to leak some information about the Resistance to show who they truly are, as well as the First Order's true intentions. Aboard the Enshadow, Malaris talks with Terex about the drugs she takes to gain muscle mass and improve her intelligence. She begins to question his loyalty and if his new implants allow him to lie to her, but apparently they do not. Not believing the cyborg, Malaris begins torturing him for information on Poe Dameron and Black Squadron. At the Resistance base, Poe assembles Black Squadron for a new mission, which will involve him and Snap looking for Odie, while Jess, Suralinda, visit a alien planet to get footage on the First Order's true intentions. As they fly through hyperspace, Jessica voices her displeasure of working with Suralinda, someone who nearly betrayed them. Talk turns to Jessica's family and why she only wants to fly ships that she herself has modified and worked on, revealing that her family was set upon by pirates and that they had no control over what they could do. Talk then turns to Udi's betrayal and the shock it caused to not only Jessica but many mainly Poe, who saw Udi as one of his best friends. On Abinidu, Odie and his wife hurriedly pack before the First Order arrive, but it's too late as Malaris and Terex arrive, hoping that the former Resistance ground crew member will have some information on Poe and the whereabouts of Black Squadron. Landing on an alien world, Suralinda sets up her camera probes and sends them into a nearby city, capturing footage of the First Order murdering civilians. Poe Dameron issue 17 opened up a new part of the Star Wars universe by bringing back Suralinda to do a bit of investigative journalism into the First Order. I think it's really cool that we have a book where we can explore things like this since a war isn't just about winning a battle, it's also about winning over people, which is something the Resistance desperately needs to do. So to have Cyril Linda come back and continue her job as a journalist inside the Resistance now is actually a really awesome and quite refreshing sort of thing that we don't really see all too often in the Star Wars universe. It's usually all about the big battles or the Force or something so to have a book where we can explore that is really cool. We also learnt more about Malaris and her drug addiction apparently which Again, it's something we don't see a lot of in Star Wars. We hear about it, we hear about, you know, spice and, you know, the drug trade and everything, but you hardly ever see it. So, so to sort of delve into that a little bit is also really cool and really refreshing. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.